Marlon Wayans issues warning to rappers. American actor and comedian Marlon Wayans has urged rappers, including Kendrick Lamar, Drake, The Game, and Rick Ross, to end their beef and make peace. This was as a result of the viral video of Rick Ross getting attacked by fans of Drake in Vancouver for playing Kendrick's this song, Not Like Us. Taken to Instagram, Marlon Wayans wrote, and I quote, Dear Hip Hop, it's all fun and games until people start getting hot. Hmm. Remember this, history repeats itself. I knew Tupac, I knew Biggie, I parted with them, hung out with them, saw hmm. them both 20 minutes before they got shot. Violence is real, everyone can be touched. Don't entertain the devil. I love at Champagne Papi, I love at Rich Forever, love Kendrick Lamar, love Los Angeles Confidential, The Game. And I say to all my brothers, there's enough for everyone to eat and cold. He added, and I quote, y'all need to do what a real cold world did. Walk away from the blip, blip, with peace, with love, with positivity. Life is short, even shorter if you spend your energy on breaking each other down instead of building each other up. Hate seeing any of our kings at war. We are too few. Stop. And I say this with love. Always OG MW and Coats. Just so you know, Rick Ross was attacked after his performance at the Ignite Music Festival in Vancouver, Canada. The rapper was reportedly accosted for playing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us, a diss directed at Drake to wrap up his performance. The confrontation, which started as a verbal altercation, escalated into a violent one after one of the men punched Rick Ross in the face. Details about the incident remain unclear, but Drake seemingly liked a social media post about the assault on Ross, adding his own subtle, subtle commentary on the situation. If you would recall, Rick Ross expressed support for Kendrick Lamar during his rift with Drake, after which Drake took a swipe at him on the track push-ups. Rick Ross also clapped back at Drake on his own track titled Champagne Moments. The former collaborators turned frenemies also engaged in an online back and forth. <laughs> in that online tussle, Rick Ross alleged Drake has had a BBL and nose job. He also coined the phrase BBL Dreezy. Oh wow! So I would say that it's really making sense because it's all fun and games until somebody gets killed. Yeah. And we forbid that. We pray that that does not even happen mm -hmm. because it started already. People taking sides and people, uh, you know, followers attacking Rick Ross mm -hmm. and all of those. So, yeah, it's good that he's even using Tupac and Biggie as, as an example, example yeah. you know, because uh, look at what happened to them. So uh, you've got a very bright future. You've got talent, you've got everything, and then you engage in this. Yes, we all say it sometimes, in fact, we say it on this show, we say oh, it gives us life in the entertainment industry and all that, but mm. then I think we should do healthy stuff, yeah, yeah but or when people are fighting like that, you don't have to like make it escalate. But then there is no how. You've got gangs at the end of today, mm -hmm. and we can see it happening in Nigeria. Yeah. You see some somebody make a comment, and other fans of other people would come and start, you know, causing issues. So I, I, this is really, really making sense. So when you were reading it, I was like, I, I, I never thought about this. So. Mm. Really? Yeah, I would always say that, oh, give us the diss tracks, give us the diss tracks. It's all, oh, 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 it makes rappers look good and all that, but yeah, at um, the end of the day. I mean, coming from um, Marlon, who is an OG, he's been there, he's seen it all. I mean, um, you know that thing they say about an adult sitting down somewhere yeah, and saying stuff and then a kid climbing the tree and not even saying see it. What yeah, the adult is seeing. Um, he's seen it all, he's been there, he's done that. Um, and like he said, he was there 20 minutes before they got shot. So um, he knows what he's saying. I mean, it's all fun and games until it actually happens. And then we've seen that even before the main superstars, we've seen people who have passed away from gun violence in America, in America rap game. It's not been, it's just been a few months, few years. Even recently, this was like last week. Um, I can't remember um, the, the guy's name, Coolio Fulio, one other rapper was shot dead in America. And these are underground guys who are still coming up and not even there yet. So if it can happen to the guys down, you know, it can happen to the guys on top, right there on top. So um, this is a major warning to them. Uh, no, one, no one would have thought that it would have gotten to recross or it would have yeah, become violence. Yeah, I wouldn't even have thought. No I would not would even have thought. thought. It's been fun and games we've seen um, at BET Awards. They performed the song again. I, I mean, and I, this I song think, has been reckoning a lot of money. Yeah, as I yesterday. 
Yeah, the video is crazy. The video does Yes, drop. you get. <laughs> Kendrick so Lamar. I think that the problem actually is with the fans. Sometimes they take things very seriously, and we even see it in the political scene too. No, no, I, so I, you see that you, you don't even know whether some politicians are even dining together. They just want to cause some commotion so that you guys are divided. But then you guys, you take it to heart, and then you start fighting so other people. I, I don't think it's just the fans. I also think that the guys in question here, the celebrities, also trigger this. Because why would Drake, why would Drake go and like? that particular video that had to do with violence of him being assaulted why would drake like like i like get that? it because every it's it's like everybody is just against drake at the moment well it's the whole industry versus him he knows what he has done to the industry i don't know what he has done but whatever <laughs> what? whatever he has done <laughs> <laughs> Well, they say he's a soft rapper, but girls like him. Yeah. But guess what? It is even request for me saying that he did a nose job. <laughs> Set BB, him BBL, BBL Drizzy, Alma, um, that one off me. I'm yeah. like, why would they beat you? <laughs> the truth is, what's the rap game without beef, right? <laughs> Definitely, there has to be beef, but there has to be lines. You see, we're still saying this, boundaries right? That boundaries be that shouldn't be crossed. Yeah. I think people should just understand this in all of the gang stories. By the way, in Nigeria, um, I mean, Portable and uh, Zlatan were fighting. It was Portable that was fighting Zlatan. Because of the video that... Uh, uh, now, Portable uh, has come Zlatan. out to say, may God not allow uh, him to go and meet somebody that will not forgive him. To go and so, apparently, Zlatan has been coming out. <laughs> Something has happened, but Portable is, uh, is apologizing as usual. You Portable think so? That, that's his apology now.